track open, track closed, four wheel drive, no motorbikes, no quads. Hey guys, Paul, Perth 5 Before Adventures and welcome to another one of our adventures. Today we are down at Wellington Dam and that behind me is the magnificent new mural painted on the uh, wall of the Wellington Dam itself. So uh, we're down in the Wellington Dam National Park, or Wellington National Park I think it's called, uh, near Collie. And uh, today of course we're going to hit the Leonard's track but uh, we thought we'd pop in and have a look at this. Uh, Magnificent piece of art, absolutely stunning. Just check it out. But yeah, you can literally drive straight across this little causeway, and uh, that is the start of the uh, Collie River right there behind me. So uh, that's the river there, and we will be following out that way uh, to the start of the Leonard's track. So uh, come along, I'm sure it'll be fun and uh, we'll see you at the track. Okay, so here we are at the official start of the track. Now the vehicles we've got with us today is my Jeep, Brad in his Jeep, Gary in his Jeep, and Anthony in the Amarok. Morning! Morning. <laughs> and this is the start of the Leonard's track. Now this track is closed in winter. As you can see there's a sign up there. Track open, track closed, four wheel drive, no motorbikes, no quads. So, and not suitable for SUV or all-wheel drive vehicles. 
And from what I've heard of this track, it's not overly difficult. Um, but looking straight up at the entrance, um, that there is River Road, by the way. So there's the bridge over the Collie River. Down there, bridge over the Collie River. We've come up from that way, from Wellington Dam. And you assume that's all one way through that way. So, uh, and that road there is one way coming out as well. So that's the start of the Leonard's track. Entrance already looks slightly interesting, but uh, we shall see what the rest of the track looks like. Now I know there's some interesting spots along the way on this track to stop for uh, lunches or just scenic shots and whatnot, which we will stop and have a look along the way. Uh, but we will just have a leisurely Sunday drive along this track and see what it's like. Because of course we've never done this track before, so uh, come along for the ride and uh, we'll see you up there. Catching on fire like you never seen. I'm catching on fire, my voice is gasoline. I'm catching on fire like you never seen. Okay, so so far we've only just basically got into it. There's a couple of little interesting bits that you can see to start with. Um, quite nice driving through uh, underneath all these trees. It's quite pleasant and uh, ooh, quite an interesting little section here. But uh, I'm running 20 psi in the front, 22 in the back. Now we've had to come in from a campsite down near the dam, so we already had our tyres down. We just ran a couple of k's of bitumen very slowly uh, with our tyres down, so we haven't had to drop our tyres any further before hitting the track. So uh, yeah, 20 in the front and 22 in the back. Not sure what the other boys are running, but they'll all be pretty much around about the same. So uh, okay, we'll uh, see what this track's got in store for us. track we've barely gotten into it and there's a beautiful little spot here just along the rocks look at that what a great spot eh? that is reasonably deep there so it'll be uh, nice for a swim although I can tell you from past experience this water is cold so if you get in there you're going to freeze your proverbials off but uh, what a beautiful spot though eh? water is almost crystal clear and that's literally the track just up there so all right cool little spot we shall continue on
that road they said. Well, there are some interesting bits on this track so far. Um, that bit there, not overly technical or difficult, but um, from what I've been told, this is just a dirt road. But the, it's a little bit more than a dirt road. Now I can see why they say no SUVs, because you probably do need a little bit of clearance and uh, some traction in places. But uh, overall, so far, some interesting little rock steps and stuff. But, uh, Nothing that's going to need you winching off any of these beautiful trees, that's for sure. But uh, it's a very picturesque track so far, and uh, hopefully we'll come across a nice little watery rest spot at some point, because the river is way down, there's a big drop off to my right, um, and the river is way down there, so, uh, but yeah. Okay, let's uh, keep on moving. Man, never could keep calm. Always trying to take a stand, even when I'm wrong. My hands beneath. Okay, so this is another one of those quiet little spots along the track where you are not allowed to camp. But I'll tell you what, if you were allowed to camp, it would be absolutely perfect. Because just look at this. Right next to the river. How beautiful is that? The water is so clear. And I dare say there'd be some nice marin in there somewhere. What an awesome spot. Pretty deep too, you can see the bottom way down there. But uh, yeah, shame you're not allowed to camp around here because this in particular would be an awesome spot. It's pegged out as a picnic spot by the looks of it. But uh, there we go, we got some steps down to the river. Look at that. In there, and look how clear that water is. And again, definitely not a camping spot. That is not a that is not a campfire. <laughs> Was never a campfire. Never will be a campfire. But picnic table. But yeah, beautiful spot for lunch. Plenty of room for cars, as you can see. So yeah, another awesome spot along the track.
I'm guessing the camera doesn't do that justice, but that is a great big valley and it just goes down. I can't even see the bottom. And we are basically just driving along the edge of it. It is awesome. What a view. Yeah, what a great view that is. And uh, another little technical part of this track. This track is a bit more interesting than one I thought it would be. It's uh, got some interesting little rocky sections through it that uh, you do need to kind of have to think a little bit of a line you're going to take. But uh, yeah, quite good so far. Who am I when I'm lonely? What am I if I'm lonely? Things got really serious. <laughs> this, this is a pretty interesting section. And there's a nice big hole just over the top of this little lump here, which I will no doubt lift the wheel, the back wheel, which is one of those feelings that I hate. There we go. That would be interesting going back up, I would imagine. But yeah, good little hill. <laughs> now let's watch the other guys go down. Okay, yes, very interesting hill that. Now, if you're wondering why Gary's driving around some objects, it's because he has an issue with his um, selector cable on his transfer case. He can get high range, but he can't get low range without having to get out of the vehicle and someone underneath basically pull the cable while uh, someone else has got their foot on the clutch. So he cannot select low range in his vehicle at the moment while he's in the vehicle and on his own. So, hence why he's uh, driving around some things that you might otherwise need low range for. So, that is why. It's, it's another one of those parts that's taking eight weeks to come along. So, uh, oh, this looks like another interesting section of track. Another nice little hill climb. It's got some interesting rocks in it. I haven't selected low range, but let's see how we go getting up it. Yeah, easy, easy. Here we go, beautiful. Have no idea. Oh, that is an awkward feeling. Come over the top, and you know there's a little bit of a rock step there, but you can't actually see it. So, but here we go. Back down the other side with ease. And 
another little rock step here, which I've lost sight of again. I hope there's no deep hole on the other side of it. No, all good. And there we go. Okay, onwards we shall go. I've been watching for the omens I've been listening to everything you said It's been running through my head Locked and loaded I got the feeling that you know it Yeah, I've only just begun I won't stop until it's done Till you're broken Okay, so I'm pretty sure that is the fork in the road there. Go left to bypass this. Now there's supposed to be a big hill at the end of this track and you can bypass it by I think taking that track there and down here takes you to the big hill. So we shall see what it looks like. Otherwise we might have to come back and go that way. We'll see what happens.
Okay, well as you can see from the video, this track ends right here. <laughs> so, but <laughs> it's not very well used, so uh, that would be why there's a fork in the road. So we're not quite at the infamous hill climb yet. We are at a dead end though, so everybody now has to back up. Luckily we didn't go too far. And we'll take the left fork. <laughs> kind of wondering why <laughs> we're starting to get a little bit overgrown in the middle with all the trees starting to sprout up in the middle of the track and Gary just said over the radio that uh, for a well used track it sure is quite all overgrown and that would explain why so okay we will take the left track told you we'd turn around again well you can't exactly turn around because there's like a 50 foot drop down that side and it's pretty much just outside the door so I should concentrate on reversing and stop talking to you lot Okay, so this is the bits you don't normally see in YouTube videos where it all goes wrong. <laughs> so, I've managed to turn around, but uh, these three are just going to continue on reversing up the track. But I can tell you, it's very narrow and there's lots of little trees either side. So I just thought I'd take the opportunity to turn around and film them going backwards. <laughs> oh dear. I can see trees moving in the background. <laughs> Come on guys, move it along. Nothing to see here. Okay, back on the right track now. We hope. Well, I should be because there's no other track to take. So. Okay, it's obviously not where the road forks to go around the big hill climb. So we shall continue on until it does. Although there's a little bit of a rocky climb here. It's not too bad. Okay, let's try not to get into any more trouble. See, I'm never gonna quit. Got my legacy set in motion. So welcome to the fire. See, this is very, very interesting. Very interesting. And I'm going to take the easier line there. I don't think so. <laughs> it's top of the main hills, but there's another climb that's in front of me. Well, I'm going to have a crack, but I don't think I am. So, Anthony, stay back where you are, mate. It's kind of at the top of the hill, and uh, Gary's got a bit of a problem. He's going to need low range, so we're going to have to get him into low range because that is a doozy of a hill. So, and to all those people I said that Leonard's track is just a dirt road. I take that back. It is not just a dirt road. This is really steep, as you can see. So, let's go down and get Gary into low range. Whoa! <laughs> you need low range climbing down, mate. Definitely. <laughs> Catch me. <laughs> no. <laughs> This is how you put a JK in the low range. <laughs> Just 
It's not the ideal way to put a car into low range. I just push a button. You need low range. What is this low range? Okay, well we can't get it into low range because uh, it's right above the exhaust and it's too hot for him to get his hand in. So he's going to have to give this a go. Otherwise, we're going to have to winch. So, he's going to launch it from there and try, it's just this bit here. So about this point here, it seemed a little bit strange that um, Gary's car seemed to be dying. Even in high range, he couldn't get past this point car seemed to be lacking some power somewhat um, and he didn't discover it until the next day but the fuel pickup line was actually split so under load it couldn't feed the engine and uh, that kind of explains why we just thought it was a low range issue uh, but uh, you would have thought even in high range he could have got enough momentum to get up that hill but that explains why and uh, we had to winch him from this point all right i always wanted to wear one of those Seen Graham Cahill do it many times. I don't know why. But never mind. It saves carrying it. Now this is a hell of a hill. So I'm puffed just from walking up it. So, and so is Brad. It's easier to drive. <laughs> okay, we're gonna set Gary up with the winch. He's gonna try and make a bit of it. He just hasn't got the power to get up in high range. And he can't connect his low range. So we're gonna set up up here. Uh, ready for him just in case we need to whack the winch on. Oh, that's as far as you can get in high range. So, this is where the fun begins. Incoming. Really? <laughs> Where were you? <laughs> okay, so we've got this far. Not far to go. I'm up on the top and he just needs to get to here. So Brad's going to reset off that tree up there. So. Gary just needs to give his uh, winch a bit of a chance to cool down and his battery because his battery light keeps coming on. So, uh, not far to go now. As soon as he gets the ramp over, he'll be right. He'll be yeah, able to... There we go. Oh, that was an effort, I'll tell you. But, uh, his battery is just about knackered now, so hopefully we'll get up that last bit without the winch. Okay, now we've just got a JK up the hill on a winch that didn't have low range, and now we've got an Amarok. It doesn't have low range, but it does have first gear, so let's give it a go. There we go. So that, I don't know if the camera does it justice, so I'll be able to tell that when I'm editing, but uh, that is a hell of a hill. And now I understand what they talk about when they say the hill at the end of Leonard's track. Now, I do remember back there, we turned right at a T intersection. 
I'm guessing that is where if you turn left it takes you back to the main road and if you keep if you turn right sorry and you end up in this predicament but uh, yeah very interesting hill and it's not over yet because there's another bit just there all right fortress and I'll climb your walls. You got your armor, I see your flaws. So welcome to the fire. Well, I'm guessing that little gate there is the end of the track because there's also a signpost there that doesn't have a sign on it. But so it looks very similar to the one at the very start of the track. So I'm guessing that could be the end of the Leonard's track. However, we are still on a track. So, Judging by my HEMA, there's still a little bit of a track to go, but uh, yeah. That wasn't quite how we expected it to end, but uh, <laughs> very interesting yeah, indeed. So welcome to the fire. Alright guys, well that is pretty much it for our trip up the Leonard's track. Now uh, that last hill was a bit of a doozy but we got there in the end and uh, I don't think it's actually officially part of the Leonard's track. It might be but according to the HEMA uh, pretty much ended where the T-junction was and we turned right which took us to that hill. But never mind, it makes for an interesting end to the trip. Um, so with that backdrop behind me we shall air the cars up and uh, head on home. So hope you've enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already done so. Uh, hit us up for some merch if you want some t-shirts, some beanies, some caps. And I'm still looking for some hoodies, but hopefully we'll get some of those soon. And we got some stickers. So hit us up on our Facebook page for those. Otherwise, see you on our next adventure. Cheers, guys.